Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Barbie and I'm a first time mum to a seven month old little boy called Kian. I'm so excited to be here with Baby Center and Asda and I'm gonna be sharing with you my six tips to kickstarting your baby's weaning adventure. So as a first time mum and a massive foodie, I was so excited to start weaning Kian, but it can be so daunting to know where to start. So my first tip is to think about how you would like to start weaning your baby. So we decided to start Kian with purees and slowly increased to lumpier and thicker textures and then eventually onto baby led weaning. So there were a few things which we needed to get started and luckily you can find all of your weaning essentials in the baby aisle at Asda. We picked up this little fork and spoon set from the Asda Little Angel range. It has nice big handles so that baby can try and feed themselves if they'd like to. I also love these plates from Asda. They're also from the Little Angels range and you get three in a pack where you can put a different food in each section for your baby to explore. And lastly, because we know that weaning can be messy business, I picked up this bib. I thought that this little scoop was perfect to collect any food that Kian's dropped. My second tip is to introduce bitter vegetables as your baby's first taste. These are veg like broccoli, spinach, courgettes. Some nutritionists say that introducing your baby to these bitter vegetables as their first tastes may encourage them to eat a wider variety of vegetables later down the line. So we started Kian off with one bitter vegetable puree once a day for two weeks. And then after that, we went on to introduce sweet foods and combined flavors. So my third tip is to keep the atmosphere relaxed and calm. A quiet environment may encourage your baby to spend some time feeling and exploring the texture and the smell of the food before they decide whether they'd like to eat it or not. So my fourth tip is to not be scared of herbs and spices. Herbs like basil or rosemary are really lovely to add into purees. Adding a bit of cinnamon into porridge is a lovely one. This will really help your baby get familiar with a wide variety of flavors and just make weaning so much more exciting and enjoyable for them. Tip number five is to batch cook and freeze your baby's meals. These little freezer pots from the Asda Little One range are perfect for batch cooking and freezing. I love that they've also got lids. That is an absolute essential for me to make sure that I don't have any baby food leaking in my freezer. As a busy working mum, I make sure that I always have some of these Ella's kitchen pouches in my cupboard. They're so good for those times when you just don't have time to cook or if you're rushing out the door and know that your baby's gonna need a meal while you're out and about. This one is pumpkin, broccoli and sweet corn. And I love that they are all organic as part of the As The Little Angels range. They also have their own food pouches. I've got this organic apple and strawberry one for Kian. One thing I love about Asda's baby aisle is that you can find all of their foods arranged by age and stage. So you can clearly see what foods are suitable for your baby. At the moment, Kian's seven months, so it's really easy for me to see which foods are suitable for him and which foods he's not quite ready for yet. My last tip is to enjoy yourself and have fun. Weaning shouldn't be scary or stressful, and sometimes you just have to surrender to the mess. Don't worry, it can all be cleared up. It is an adventure after all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Baby Center and Asda. Make sure to check out their baby aisle next time you're in your local store. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.